You ready now? Where are you calling from? Um, Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. How old are you? I am. I am. I am forty-two. Wow! I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, wow! What do you do for a living? Um, well, I am. I'm an. I'm a visual artist, but I'm also um, an adjunct professor. Do you have any children? No, not as yet. Do you want any? Yes. Before, hopefully, okay. before fifty. <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a late late comer late bloomer but hopefully, late bloomer. hopefully. <laughs> have you ever been married yes once when I was very young when I was in my 20s so I want to try again because that never worked out <laughs> oh so you definitely get married again yes 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 all right tell us the kind of man you want to get married to oh my goodness um I, well he has to be someone who is definitely um, have a, have a big imagination. Um, definitely wants someone who is very supportive. You know, this, being a visual artist, people yeah. don't understand like my mindset, lifestyle. You know, because of just the way how um, as an as an artist, how you sort of work, organize your life. For someone who's like very understanding. Um, someone who is um who's ready to build build some a uh, build a legacy um yeah what are your deal breakers um definitely someone who is um definitely on drugs like that's a big thing i, I needed to be sober <laughs> i needed to be like sober you know um um in just mind body and spirit that's very important to me. Um, and someone who is very ambitious um, and who is not, who's willing to put in the work. Does he have to be in your area? Um, I would love it to be at least local um, because like traveling is expensive. <laughs> and you know, and I'm juggling, and I'm juggling um, multiple jobs because I mean, I I teach, I do I have my practice, I have my practice, and I have a you know a corporate job, so I'm juggling a lot. So it would be easier, but I'm not, um, but I'm still flexible. But it would be a lot easier if he's local. Does it, do you have any physical requirements? Um, not really. I mean, I do like I do like guys who are. I just like people who are just well groomed, like well put together. I mean, I'm not like in this moment because I've been just. I was working all day. Um, I'm working on this a uh, grant all day, but um, um, someone who is um just kind of like you know um 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 is well groomed. Someone who just takes care of himself in whatever form that is, but I'm not really sort of like too, too picky about like just certain th things because it doesn't really matter if you're like big or small or even short. What about height? Well, I'm 5'2", so anyone who's taller than me, <laughs> you know, if you're shorter, that would be a little bit problematic because I'm, again, I'm 5'2", so. <laughs> what about income? Um, Someone who works, um ideally 50 and up minimum like 50,000 50, a year and up you mean yeah at, at minimum <laughs> okay you know, as if it's a minimum like just someone who is just sort of you know I mean that's not even a workable income but something that is manageable you know but I mean if we have two people anything can work but you know so why would you be a good season in somebody's spot Oh my goodness. Um, so many things. I think that I, I have a unique perspective. Um, and I think because I'm a, I'm an artist, like a, you know, like a, a, an artist, it, I just, I see the world differently. I approach things differently, um, in a very, um, creative kind of way. Um, I, um, I, I consider myself as someone who is, um, have a lot of integrity, you know, I'm a woman of my word and I'm a, I'm a type of person. Like I try, I'm not a quitter. 
Like I'm, I, I tend to, I will go all the way. Do you know what I'm saying? I will, and I, I'm, I'm the type of person that if there is an issue, I will, I'm not a, I'm not a person who easily quits. So I am always trying to figure out a solution, trying to figure out how to make it work. Of course, within reason, <laughs> you don't want anything dysfunctional or what have you, but within reason, I'm someone who will, um, can, you know, um, stay the, stay the entire, you know, like, you know, like able to stay the entire time. If that make any sense, I don't know. I'm nervous. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be on tonight. I was oh, so happy that you came. Walk. We're so happy you came. Which Jamaican dish best describes you? Oh my goodness. I've been thinking about this from last week. Um, I don't know. Okay, so I don't I currently don't eat meat, but when I was eating meat, my favorite <laughs> meal was curry goat. <laughs> And I don't, don't describe you now, then that don't describe you now. Which dish uh, describe you right now? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Um, yeah. I would see like um, um, a nice escovish fish with like a really interesting. I'm not really a cook, but interesting like kind of like seasoning, like you know. Um, like honey kind of seasoning and with like um, bami or breadfruit or what have you and like with a nice sort of like Jamaican like a, like a Caribbean kind of cocktail like that would be me <laughs> right in this moment so since you don't eat it the man can't eat meat yeah of course <laughs> okay so doesn't matter so yeah, which Jamaican matter. dish best describe him Oh my goodness. Um curry goat. <laughs> All right, so in the spirit of Valentine's Day, what is the ideal Valentine's Day date? Oh my goodness. Definitely like um oh my goodness. Definitely like going to like a live um a live show. Like I, I, the, um, I remember a couple, like was a couple months ago, one of my good friends, we had went to like this sort of, um, it was like a dinner slash kind of like concert, sort of like a venue. And we was like front seat. And I thought it, and the, the music was a beautiful, the music, the, the food was really amazing. So that would be, um, your ideal Valentine's Day day. Yeah. Like live music, good food. Yeah. All at oh, once. Yes. I think you're a cat. Tell us how he's gonna find you. <laughs> oh, how can you find me? Yeah. Email. Um, my email. Yes, it's my name backwards. Norman Unique at gmail.com. Okay. Yes. Okay, you're gonna help us with that. <laughs> it's super easy. N A M. Go again. N O R M E N. Oh, oh! I thought it was all the letters. Okay. Norman, yeah. Norman Yannick at gmail.com. Oh, okay. And it's on the screen too. Yes, yes. My name backwards. <laughs> well, Yannick, I hope you find somebody. Thank you. Uh, for, thank you for creating this space, Lady Fine. Yeah, and, and avoid Evroy. Avoid Evroy. Uh, when I hope you find somebody wonderful. I think you are wonderful. They're, they agree with me. You're definitely a cat. <laughs> Um, so we, we hope you find somebody. If it works, come back and tell us. And we're happy we waited for you. You were worth the wait. And Thank thanks you. for being bold. I was so nervous. 